Build that wall. 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 The Rio Grande is unappreciated, and I keep saying that because I mean it, and, and I, I want people to know what's out here. I don't think anyone that doesn't have some connection to the region has any idea how remote that area is and how rugged and inhospitable. I think our purpose in all this is to, is to tell that region's story and wildlife's story. I wish that everybody who wanted to build an actual physical wall could come and see this place first, because I think if they came and saw it and realized what the wall was going through and what it would do, it would have a profound impact on their way of thinking. In December 2017, we're embarking on a 1,200 mile journey from El Paso to the Gulf of Mexico along the Rio Grande River using horses, mountain bikes, and canoes. The purpose is to see these landscapes before a border wall is constructed and to document those landscapes, to explore how an actual physical 30-foot wall built on the U.S. side of the river would impact wildlife dispersals, water access, private property rights, immigration, public lands, border culture. This journey and this project is, is about fact-finding and figuring out what are the impacts of a proposed contiguous 1,200-mile border wall. There's a lot of misconceptions. It's, it's really easy to hold views about far off issues and that not only don't affect you, but don't affect anyone that you know or have met. Everything could be changed, everything. From the environment, from the views, from the people who live here, everything could be changed. <laughs>